So, um, I felt a tad, just a tad bit bad <laughs> um, about giving you this game, and then you try to stream it, and it kind of doesn't work. Or at least it works with some technical oddities that make it kind of strange and quirky and not quite right. So, I figured I did play around with these streaming programs a while back anyway. So, why not tinker a bit with Siberia and see what actually works? Um, so that's what I've done, and I think it basically comes down to running the game in window mode and then using a screen region. Which isn't that easy, as easy as it sounds, since the game does not have a window mode, and it does full screen in this kind of old, antiquated way, with really old DirectX libraries, that means that XSplit does not see it, the game plugin, the game source plugin does not see it, and the screen region gets kind of strange. As you noticed last night, um, that's actually not XSplit doing the wrong thing, it is the game doing very strange things uh, <laughs> to render itself. So, you need to force it to render in a window. Um, last night a couple of people mentioned uh, DXWind, um, I guess that's DirectX windowed or something, uh, which I tried, and I tried a few different programs that do essentially the same thing. Um, they're designed to force window mode or force other settings. Uh, and the one they suggested is actually pretty good. Um, uh, it is open source, and it, there it's uh, on SourceForge, so you just Google it and you'll get a hit. Um, and then on the files section you'll find latest build and what I would say is don't get the latest build um, see if you go down all the way to point 0.62 um, they added two Siberia specific fixes there and they have a Siberia preset so you won't have to mess with a bunch of really technical settings um, the latest version for some reason does not have the Siberia preset, so fuck that. Uh, this is a really small program, it won't take long to download. So um, you can unpack it anywhere, I'll just put it on the desktop for now, it's not important. Um, so the way this works is, here you have a bunch of presets. Uh, you can really run any game with this, but yeah, these are the presets. And if we scroll down a bit, we see Siberia demo. That's fine. Right click it, pick modify, and then change the path to where you have your game. Now, what you want is the game.exe. You don't want Siberia.exe because that's kind of a launcher. It displays this micro splash screen and then launches the game. So that won't actually work. You want game.exe. Now, you can ignore all these kind of technical settings. Um, what you may want to pay attention to are these four fields. X and Y are the coordinates from the top left position of the screen where the window will be positioned. So for some reason the defaults place it 100 pixels down and 100 pixels in, which I don't quite see the point of. Now 800 by 600 um, is the, well, as you can see, it's the width and height of the window. It's also the native resolution of Siberia, so I wouldn't recommend changing this, uh, at least not right now. So, as long as you now have this program open, you can run the game from Steam or from the folder, or just right-click and pick Run, and it will open in a window. So, I mean, you really know how to get this into XSplit now. I guess I'll do it just to demonstrate. Um, it's a straightforward screen region. So add screen region, and I think 
this is the top corner and then we had 800 by 600 and resize um, and yeah that's basically it now one thing I kind of want to add is this may be great for the streaming side of things but you're kind of playing the game in this small window up in the corner of the screen and that may not be so fantastic so um, what I would suggest at least tinkering a bit with is this resolution now because all the 2D backgrounds and stuff is actually drawn at 800 by 600 increasing this resolution does not make the game look any better it kind of actually makes it a bit fussy and soft um, but that may be preferable over a small window in which you cannot see the details you need to click like I don't know maybe a mammoth carving so I'm just gonna enter 1280 by 960 uh, this is still uh, 4 by 3 uh, in aspect ratio so the game won't be warped in some strange way uh, you can literally enter any numbers here and the game will be resized to that size I would not recommend warping it uh, it will look very strange uh, so if we run it now and adjust our screen region Twelve eighty by nine sixty. Oh, that's nine sixty one. Oh well, whatever. It looks the same on the stream, and you have a nice big window on your own computer. Um, actually, it may look a bit better on the stream now because uh, you're sourcing the game from a bigger screen region. If people view it in full screen, um, so. Now I know you like to do this little maneuver. Um, I would not recommend doing this for the, that for this game uh, because, I mean, there literally is no widescreen support. Um, everything is four by three, and if you try to render it in any other dimension, it will simply, as you will now see, stretch it. So. Kate will look a bit fat and uh, circles will look oval and all that stuff so it's not that great um, this is the correct way to play the game this is a stretch stretched strange way to play the game um, I know you have this borderlands background that will show on the sides but I think if you just hide that layer it should be black um, but I mean you know XSplit I don't need to explain this in detail to you maybe you could just kind of move the game over to one side and have your cam on the other that way it won't overlap with the text either uh, the way it did a few times yesterday that people complained about um, so yeah I think that's kind of it you play it in a window in your screen region the window and it works um, you really only need this uh, DX Wind program to make it windowed. That's the sole purpose. Um, and when the game doesn't have it, the feature, that's what you need to use. So yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully this uh, helps at least a little bit. See ya.